the vast majority of countries on Earth rely on tourism to support their hospitality industries. And with such varied landscapes and cultures to see around the world, each one has its own unique offerings and amenities. Unfortunately, however, not every place is safe to go to, especially if you're unfamiliar with local customs and expectations. Let's take a look at the top 15 most dangerous countries for tourists. Number 15. Central African Republic The Central African Republic, as the name suggests, is a landlocked country in Central Africa that's bordered by Chad, Sudan, South Sudan, the Democratic Republic of Congo, and Cameroon. Covering an area of 240,000 square miles and with a population of 4.7 million people, it's a region that's been inhabited by humans for many thousands of years. With a tropical climate and a wealth of wildlife such as forest elephants, lowland gorillas, leopards, lions, and rhinos, you'd normally expect a country like this to be incredibly popular with tourists looking for a way to vacation in the sun and get to see a largely pristine habitat. Sadly, though, it's a country where the residents have been severely underserved by their leaders after gaining independence from France in 1960. The land is also rich in natural resources such as uranium, diamonds, oil, gold, and plenty of precious metals. But those that have been mined have benefited only a few people, and virtually none of this wealth has been used to improve national infrastructure or living conditions. Because of this mismanagement, people who live in Central African Republic, as some of the poorest people in the world, are understandably disillusioned with the type of democracy that exists there and how they've been let down. This has led to a series of uprisings, and the country's been in a state of civil war on and off since 2004. And considering it's barely safe for the country's own citizens, there are serious risks for tourists who decide to visit. Number 14. Honduras Honduras is in Central America, bordered by Guatemala, El Salvador, and Nicaragua. With a coastline along the Caribbean Sea and a rich historical heritage, having been the home of the Maya and several other Mesoamerican cultures, it should in theory tick all of the boxes for the ideal tourist hotspot. But unfortunately, decades of social upheaval have meant that it's far from being a safe place to visit. Covering an area of about 43,000 square miles and with a population of around 9 million people, it's one of the poorest countries in the Western Hemisphere. The main part of the economy is reliant on agriculture, which can be devastating if regions are hit with hurricanes or heat waves, and whatever wealth there is in the country has concentrated within a minority of the people in urban areas. The country gained independence in 1821, but has undergone countless changes in structure, and it's also suffered decades of difficulties after the so-called football war with the neighboring country El Salvador began in 1969. With so much attention focused on protecting the borders, the country fell behind in terms of economic development compared to others in the region, and this is a major source of the issues that continue to this day. Honduras now has some of the highest levels of violent crime in the world, and reached a peak in 2012 with more than 20 homicides per day in a country where the population is equal to that of New York. There's also a large gang presence there, and there's simply no way that tourists can be kept safe from being attacked or kidnapped until these issues are resolved. Number 13. Mali Mali is a beautiful landlocked country in Western Africa, which is bordered by Algeria, Niger, Burkina Faso, Ivory Coast, Guinea, Senegal, and Mauritania. It's the 24th largest country on Earth, covering an area of almost half a million square miles and has a population of approximately 19 million people. Like the other countries surrounding it, Mali was once a French territory and only gained its independence in 1960. This began a period of political conflict, however, with different opinions on how the country should be run, and these issues have continued on in one way or another to this day. In 2012, for example, rebels captured an entire region in the north of the country and renamed it under their own rule before having it retaken with the assistance of the French military in 2013. There have been several attempts to rule the country with a democratically elected government, with the most recent being in 2018. But in late 2020 and early 2021, there were two coups that saw the military take control after disagreeing with a change in leadership. With such conflict, which has also been made worse in recent years with Al-Qaeda activity, all potential of developing a tourism industry there has collapsed. There's room for optimism, though, because the authorities have made significant steps towards creating close ties with countries around the world, who, once it's safe to do so, are in the perfect position to welcome visitors. Number 12. South Sudan 
Of all the countries in the world, South Sudan is one that was most recently formed, having only become recognized as a country in its own right in 2011. This happened when it gained independence from the Republic of Sudan with a landslide election in favor of this move, with more than 98% of votes cast. But that wasn't the end of the problems for the citizens who were weary of conflicts. With 12 million residents and covering an area of almost 250,000 square miles, two main factors emerged that wanted control of the country and were willing to do absolutely anything to achieve this. What followed was a period of extreme violence and hardship, whereby massacres of various ethnic groups took place, as well as horrifying human rights abuses and the killing of a large number of foreign journalists who were there to document what was happening. Both sides in this civil war were as guilty as each other of these atrocities, and eventually reached a truce in early 2020 when they agreed to form a coalition government. Still, with such horrific events in recent memory, and the fact that the country still has a long way to go to set up its economy and build infrastructure like roads and power grids, there's no way that tourists can be safely welcomed. Number 11. Somalia Somalia is one of the easternmost countries in Africa, located against the coast and the continent's horn, and is bordered by Ethiopia, Djibouti, and Kenya. It actually has the longest coastline of any mainland African country and a great deal of cultural heritage, such as the Las Gil Caves, where you can see Neolithic rock art, as well as a number of game reserves with some of the best opportunities to see animals in all of Africa. Covering just over 250,000 square miles and with almost 16 million residents, Somalia gained its independence in 1960, but this triggered decades of infighting. The Somali Civil War that began in 1991 saw the different regions of the country being forced to govern themselves, and despite the efforts of a unification government, there are still conflicts with varying factions vying for control. In the midst of this, tourists are often seen as pawns, and in the past four years there have been four major bomb attacks against hotels and tourist sites by terrorists that killed more than 350 people. The risk of kidnap is also high throughout Somalia, especially of Western visitors, and has meant that most countries advise against all recreational travel to the country. Number 10. Ukraine Ukraine is the second largest country in Europe, covering an area of just over 233,000 square miles and has a population of around 41.5 million people. As a former part of the Soviet Union, it gained its independence in 1991 and made significant strides in becoming part of the wider world community. Despite being one of the poorest nations in Europe, with serious problems with poverty and corruption, tourism has become an important part of the country's economy. Thanks to the stunning coastline along the Black Sea, mountain ranges, and a wealth of historical sites which are truly unique, everything was looking good for Ukraine. But this all changed in 2014, when the Russian government took exception to how close the Ukrainian government was getting with Western countries, in particular the close ties it was creating with Europe, feeling threatened, especially because of the location of strategically sensitive bases in the Black Sea, Russian troops moved in and annexed the Crimean Peninsula. This had once been one of the most popular tourist destinations in the Ukraine, but today hardly any go there from fear of continued military action, and ongoing ambiguity about whether Crimea is still part of Ukraine, or whether it's now a fully-fledged Russian territory. Number 9. Iraq Located in Western Asia and bordered by Turkey, Iran, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, Jordan, and Syria, Iraq covers almost 170,000 square miles and has an estimated population of about 38 million people. Humans have lived in this part of the world since prehistoric times, and it's one of the most historically rich countries on Earth. It used to be part of the Babylonian and Achaemenid empires and was conquered by Alexander the Great and was part of the Arab Islamic conquest in the 7th century that brought Islam to the region. In terms of ancient monuments and ruins, there's probably no better place in the world to visit, but it's the recent political turmoil over the past 60 years that's made it such a dangerous place to go. Problems began to develop as a result of a coup in 1958, and this led the way for Saddam Hussein to assume control in 1979. He positioned the country in opposition to the rest of the region and waged wars against Iran, Kuwait, and his own people. This resulted in the first Gulf War in 1990, where the outside world had no choice but to intervene. And despite seemingly calming tensions, the second Gulf War began in 2003, after evidence came to light that further weapons of mass destruction were being developed there. 
The instability that followed this enabled terrorist groups to take hold in the country, and despite efforts to introduce a democratically elected government, civil unrest remains to this day. It is one of the most dangerous places for tourists to visit, and while you can book tours to some regions of the country, this will always be with an armed escort to try to keep you safe. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Democratic Republic of Congo The Democratic Republic of Congo is the second largest country in Africa, covering an area of just over 905,000 square miles and has a population of around 105 million people. Its land contains a huge amount of natural wealth, thought to be worth more than $24 trillion. But despite this, the economy has been in decline for decades, and the citizens are some of the poorest on Earth. As with other countries in the region, evidence of the first people arriving in the area dates back to more than 90,000 years ago. But in recent centuries, the land has been conquered and run by several countries, the most recent being Belgium. The Democratic Republic of Congo gained its independence in 1960, but the elected prime minister found it impossible to bring the different factions together and was executed the following year. A military coup in 1965 saw the country renamed Zaire and became a dictatorship for 30 years before the year-long First Congo War that began in 1996 and was both a civil war and one that involved troops from the surrounding countries. The Second Congo War that began in 1998 ultimately involved nine different countries, 20 different armed groups, and resulted in the deaths of 5.4 million people. By the time it finished five years later, the country lay in ruins. Recovery has been a slow process, and while the country now appears to be on the right track despite continuing conflicts, it's still not seen as safe for international visitors because of the risk that they may be killed or kidnapped by warring factions looking to earn a ransom to fund their aims. Number 7. Nigeria With a population of about 206 million people, Nigeria is the most populous nation in Africa and also has the largest economy on the continent. It's located in West Africa and is surrounded by Niger, Chad, Cameroon, and Benin, and has one of the richest cultures on Earth with more than 250 ethnic groups and with at least 500 distinct languages. Large civilizations have been established in the modern-day country for more than 2,000 years, but it was when the British colonialists took over the land that the shape of the country was determined. Independence eventually came in 1960, but progress was derailed by a three-year civil war that began in 1967, which led to a series of democratically elected governments and military coups before things stabilized in a political sense in 1999. It's undoubtedly a beautiful country, which will one day be able to develop a flourishing tourism industry. But for now, visitors are limited to select areas, and even those pose dangers. Terrorist groups operate across the country with a high risk of attacks and kidnaps of foreigners, particularly in the northern regions of the country. Tourists, aid workers, journalists, and business workers are all seen as fair targets to these groups, who see them as the ideal opportunity to raise funds through ransom to help further exert their power and control. Number 6. Libya The state of Libya is a country in northern Africa that has a coastline on the Mediterranean and is bordered with Egypt, Sudan, Chad, Niger, Algeria, and Tunisia. Covering an area of about 700,000 square miles and with a population of around 7 million people, the country is rich with natural resources and has the 10th largest proven reserve of oil in the world. It has been inhabited since the Bronze Age, but was conquered by the Roman Empire, which led to an Italian link all the way through to the end of the Second World War. Of course, various other empires also took control of the land, and Libya only became a country in its own right in 1951 with a monarchy. The king was overthrown during a bloodless military coup in 1969 that was led by Muammar Gaddafi, and he ruled Libya until he was finally deposed during the Libyan Civil War in 2011. Since then, there have been several attempts to install a new government, but a second civil war gave a number of militant groups the opportunity to take over large regions for themselves, meaning the country is fractured and continues to have weak overall governance. 60% of the country's citizens are classified as being malnourished, and there are serious security concerns across large areas of Libya, meaning not only is it not safe to visit as a tourist, but it's also highly unethical until the people that actually live there have a chance to improve their situation. Number 5. Afghanistan 
at 252,000 square miles and with a population of 32 million people, Afghanistan is a mainly mountainous country that's on the boundary between Central and South Asia. It's bordered by Pakistan, Iran, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, and China. And there's evidence of a human presence in the region from as long ago as 50,000 years. Because of its position, the area has long been seen as strategically important, so it's changed hands between empires a number of times. But it was only in the aftermath of the Third Anglo-Afghan War in 1919 that Afghanistan finally became independent without undue influence from outside the borders. It began as a monarchy, but 50 years later the king of the time was overthrown and the country became a republic. But serious coups saw a period of instability that gave the Taliban, a fundamentalist group, to take control of most of Afghanistan by 1996. They ruled as a totalitarian regime until 2001, when they were deposed by a US-led invasion. And to this day, there's continual fighting between them and the new government, which has led to significant casualties and human rights abuses. Because of these security issues, tourism is virtually non-existent, with only 20,000 visitors in 2016. It is something that the government wants to expand, especially as the country boasts some of the most scenic landscapes in the world. But until tourists are significantly safer from terrorist attacks, there's not exactly the appetite to travel there. Number 4. Pakistan Formed as an independent nation in 1947 during the partition of the British Indian Empire, Pakistan is the 33rd largest country in the world by area, covering a little more than 340,000 square miles but has the fifth largest population, with 225.2 million people. Located in South Asia, it's bordered by India, Afghanistan, Iran, and China, and is a stunning part of the world with a range of landscapes and rich biodiversity. Humans have lived in the region for at least 9,000 years, and there are countless sites of interest to visit, such as ancient fortresses and a range of different architectural styles. The mountain ranges within Pakistan's borders make for spectacular views, and the rich cultural heritage means that there's always something unique to explore and experience. In 2018, 6.6 .6 million tourists visited the country, which, while it may sound like a lot, represents a drastic fall over the past few decades. Currently, the U.S. government advises against all but essential travel to the country because of the ever-present risks of terrorism and sectarian violence. This is seen as many by being overcautious, because there are large parts of Pakistan where you'll be warmly welcomed and have the time of your life. But if you happen to be in the wrong place at the wrong time, things can quickly take a turn for the worse. Number 3. Syria Located in Western Asia and bordered by Turkey, Iraq, Jordan, and Israel, Syria is a country full of a wide range of scenic backgrounds, from mountain regions to deserts, and hosts of countless cultural and historical monuments. People have been present in that region for several thousand years, but the country as it is today became independent in 1945. Split into 14 regions called governance, there have been a number of military coups in the subsequent years. The country was technically under a state of emergency law between 1963 and 2011, which suspended its citizens' constitutional protections. Bashir al-Assad has been the leader since 2000 as the head of the Ba'ath Party, and under his rule there have been countless accusations of human rights abuses, such as mass censorship and the execution of political prisoners and residents. All of this was done in the name of retaining control and security, but such was the unhappiness of the country that several terrorist groups were able to take control of large regions for themselves. The war that sought to rectify this saw more than 7.6 million people being forced to flee their homes, and 5 million being classed as refugees with nowhere to return to. And with so many groups still vying for power, it's simply too dangerous for anyone to even consider it as a vacation destination. Number 2. Yemen At 203,000 square miles big, Yemen is the country along the southern edge of the Arabian Peninsula and has been an independent state since 1967. It contains some of the most biodiverse and unusual places on Earth, like the island of Socotra, and having been ruled by several empires and dynasties in the past thousand years, also has a rich cultural heritage that if it was anywhere else would be a major draw for tourists. Since the beginning of the Arab Spring in 2011, however, the country has been in a state of turmoil. Amidst escalating homelessness, unemployment, and institutional corruption, there's been a continuous civil war between various vested interests who believe they would do a better job of running the government. 
In the past four years, it's estimated as many as 56,000 people have been killed in the violence, which has also resulted in a famine affecting 17 million people and increased difficulties in obtaining clean water, which has caused a huge cholera outbreak. Needless to say, this humanitarian crisis, which is referred to some as a genocide, is not all conducive to welcoming tourists, both because of the dangers of fighting and because of the risk of disease. One day this will change, but for the time being the country and its citizens need to get back on their own feet first. Number 1. North Korea It's the most notorious isolated regime in the world, but there's a great deal of interest from people wanting to visit North Korea as a form of extreme tourism. The problem is, it's not entirely safe to do so, and is ethically questionable at the same time, because any money you spend will go straight to the authoritarian regime. Located at the top of the Korean Peninsula, the country covers an area of almost 47,000 square miles and is thought to have a population of around 25 million people. North Korea was formed back in the 1940s after being surrendered by Japan, but with the South being backed by Allied troops and the North backed by China, the Korean War of the early 50s eventually resulted in the formation of a demilitarized zone between the two countries. Since then, North Korea has been run as a dictatorship, with seemingly very little regard for its citizens, and a focus on developing military weaponry far beyond the means of a small country, and due to the detriment of everyone who lives there. Kim Jong-un, the current leader, is obsessed with his world image, and in an attempt to calm relations, has allowed various organizations to run tourist trips in the country. With stories of being followed around by party officials, several instances of people being arrested and dying in custody after accidentally breaking the rules, it's like playing roulette with your life if you do decide to go. And the advice from every government in the world is to stay well clear. Watch our binge watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.